Hello, welcome to a demonstration of how to get information or data out of BuildSoft's Qubit software into Builder Trend Job Administration Package. I'm going to start at the Job Manager screen here for Qubit. Now note for this to be successful, you'll need a license of Qubit and you'll also need to have a subscription to the Builder Trend application. Okay, so at the Job Manager screen here, um, what we need to firstly do in, in Builder Trend is set up a list of your uh, accounting codes or cost codes and then what you can do is then export those to a CSV file or an Excel spreadsheet and then within Qubit, if I come to the codes option here, we can then import data from a CSV file and what, what I've done, I've done that just a little earlier here, you can see I've imported Builder Trend cost codes. So here's a list here of codes. Th these codes are not too dissimilar to uh, the default uh, code coding columns or code options within the Builder Trend application. You can edit these to suit your requirements. All right, but I would suggest to edit them in Builder Trend first, export them to CSV or an Excel spreadsheet, and then import them via CSV into here. Now, if you're not sure how to do that, speak to Builder Trend about exporting the data, your account manager or if you have uh, issues or, or need assistance importing this information into Qubit, you can email support at buildsoft.com.au. If you're on a software assurance uh, contract with Buildsoft, we can help you get the data in. Now, once you've done that and set that up within Qubit, uh, if we open a job now, so I'm just opening this up, you can see I've got a, a column turned on called BT for Builder Trend. And now what that column is, if I go to the Data tab here and under Edit Columns, I've turned on within this job the BT cost code or grouping column. And what that means is if I right click and expand out my estimate here, it means I can double click in this BT column now. And it doesn't have to be called BT, I've just called it that for Builder Trend. You can see I can then assign the cost codes from the Builder Trend application into the Qubit estimate. So for example, this item here is trim and grade under slab. All right, so I might want to uh, code that to a concrete type item or cost code. So you can see I've coded a few of them here. You can double click, assign the relevant cost code to the items. If I scroll down a bit further here, you can see I've coded uh, different items to different cost codes under different headings. Um, I'll code up a, another couple here on the fly. So here we've got taps. If I double click, if I know what the code is, I can type it straight in. If I don't know what the code is, I could be looking for things like plumbing, for example. Or here, I could be looking for a code number. So if I type plumbing here, Let's just call it plumbing final. I'll change a couple of these just to show you how easy it is to code a job. Or if you've got a template job, you can pre-code the template. So every time you create a new job, it'll bring this coded information through into the new job from the template. All right, so that's the first step that you need to do. Um, and then once you've done that, you can select this option to export the data to build a trend. All right, but I'll show you an issue that uh, uh, some users are having. You need to actually link the two packages together first. And to do that, if I close this job, come back to the job manager screen here. All right, so what we need to do under codes, right, we need to highlight the BT option, right, ensure that this information's in here. And then if I go Qubit, options and then go to jobs. There's an option here called assign code groups and we need to click on customize here. Go to rate. As I said before, ensure that you've got the BT2, oh, sorry, the BT code set up within here and you need to tell it which account group you want to link it to. So you can see here I've got BT. Right, so I'm selecting that there. Very important, you need to turn that option on or select the account group there. Click OK. OK again and then go back into the job. And now what we can do is under the data tab, there's an option here to export the information to Builder Trend format. 
So you've got an option for export all, which will take the entire estimate, or you've got export selected. So you can actually tag a heading or some headings and then items underneath that heading or headings will be exported to build a trend if you select the export selected option. What I'm going to do, I'm going to send across uh, everything that I've coded. So you can see all the information that I've got coded in the estimate sheet will now go through to build a trend. So to do that, I'm going to click the export all but option. Now you've got an option here to apply the markup or ignore the markup. So apply the markup will apply any adjustment um, that you've added to the build soft qubit estimate to the rates. All right, I'll just ignore that for now. And you'll see what it'll do, it'll prompt you to create a file. So I would suggest to save it into a location where you know where it is. I'm just going to save it on the desktop. You can give it the, uh, the name of the job or whatever you like. Uh, it doesn't matter what you call it here, but it needs to be an Excel workbook format. So I'm just going to save that onto my desktop. All right, and it's just reporting that there's a missing accounting code information. I'll just export it anyway. You might want to check that everything's been coded correctly. But you can see here that all of the items that I've coded with BT codes, or Builder Trend codes, are now in this Excel spreadsheet ready to be imported. So I'll just close that file. And what I'll do now, I'll bring up, bring up my web browser and log into Builder Trend. Right, and that's logging me into my Build-A-Trend uh, application. Now, build trends web-based software, so you have a subscription, you're logging in. Okay, and then from here, what I'll do, I'll create a new job. So here, there's an option to create a new job from scratch. And you give it a job name, so let's just call it Build-A-Trend Job. You can then select what sort of job type it is, what sort of job group it is, so it might be a, a new construction. Look, I won't bore you with all the information. You can fill that in at a later stage, but once you've created a job, you can click Save here. That'll save that information. It'll create a new job within Builder Trend. I'll just close this here. You'll see over here on the left-hand side, it's loading up jobs. So now you can see I've got my previous jobs. I've also got this new Builder Trend job that I've just created. So if I highlight the Builder Trend job, all right, what I can then do is under Financial, so it's important you highlight the job or click on the job that you want to import the information into. And under Financial up here, there's an option called Estimates. So if I click on that, Right, that'll bring me into where I can start creating an estimate. But have a look on the right-hand side here. There's an option for import. And if I click on the drop-down arrow, there's an option called estimates from Qubit. So I want to import an estimate from Qubit. So if I select that, it brings up this import wizard. I then need to choose file, browse to wherever you saved the file before. So here's my export to build a trend Excel spreadsheet. Select it, click the next button, and it'll go through a process here of mapping columns. So you can see here, um, this is information that it's going to import into Builder Trend. So things like the accounting code information, the description from the estimate, quantity, unit price, amount. So you can select what you want to bring through. And if we click next again, once we've mapped our columns, we can then also change which accounting codes or cost codes we want to send this information to in Builder Trend. So if it differed from the Build Soft Qubit estimate to where you want it to go in Builder Trend, you can change that information here. But by default, I'm just going to leave these options selected here. Now I've got these cost codes selected correctly in my original estimate because I used that drop-down list to allocate the codes in Qubit. So I'll click Next. And it just the next step is just for a, a review process before you import it. All right, so just brings it through to here. It looks like the information is lining up correctly. This is what we want to go through. So we just click the next button again. 
And what then happens is that it will inform you that it's imported that information successfully, so I can then view the estimate. So when we click View Estimate, you can then see within the, the Builder Trend application now, it's brought through that information. So it's been allocated to, in this case, concrete block, trim and grade under slab. So this is the item description from the cubit estimate. You can now change this to what you want to change it to if needed. But it's also brought through the quantity, the unit cost, and the total. So if we scroll to the bottom, it's got all those items that I coded in the cubit estimate brought through, and it's got our budget at the bottom here. All right, so now we can then start allocating our actual costs against the budgeted costs, produce purchase orders, do payments, look at the budget within the Build-A-Trend application.